Playing around with new technology is good. It is fun and it is quite useful. But at the same time, you must keep track of the costs. Just like it happened with the cloud when it came few years back, everyone was so excited about it that it was so easy to spin up new resources in the cloud and start using them. But then people start getting rude shocks around price and then we saw the emergence of cost optimization and FinOps. Same is the case with artificial intelligence. It's quite easy to use OpenAI, especially with the API calls, but then people are waking up to their bill cost, raking up by their credit cards because you have to supply a credit card to OpenAI in order to open your account to use their paid API. Now, people just think that, for example, in case of OpenAI, that they just need to pay 20 US dollar per month, but that is not the only case. You also have to pay for input and output API tokens. And that is where you might get a bill shock. Whenever you talk with a large language model, such as ChatGPT, Lama, Hugging Waze model uh, like um, Zephyr, Mixtrol, you talk with it in natural language, which is a text. Text is divided into smaller units, which is called as token. And most of these LLMs, they charge you per token. This tool, token cost, enables you to calculate the cost of a token or for whatever you are passing to the LLM in terms of token in US dollars. And let me show you how you can use it. I'll also drop the link to their GitHub repo in video's description so that you can also read along their features and what exactly they are trying to do here. Okay, let me move on to my terminal because the first thing we are going to do is to get this installed. This is my VS code window where I'm going to install this token cost. So the first step which we need to do is to install the token cost. So just run pip install token cost and then press enter. And let's wait for it to get installed on your local system. Shouldn't take too long. That's it. Now let's clear it. Now in order to use it, let me first um, paste a simple code and then I will walk you through. So let me show you a few code examples where this token price or token cost is in action. First thing, we already have installed it. The token cost now just import few of the functions from this token cost like calculate prompt cost and completion cost and then we are using GPT 3.5 turbo model from OpenAI. I already have set OpenAI's API key in my environment so make sure that you already have set it like I am using this terminal in git bash. So all I did is export OpenAI API key is equal to in double quotes my OpenAI key. Afterwards I am just specifying this simple prompt here with the completion and then I am calculating the prompt cost and also the completion cost and then I am printing it out. So let me run it. Token price. This is my program name. So there you go. And then this is the price which is basically TPU or token price unit. And token price unit is 1 by this amount of a USD dollar. And there is also a warning that this may change over time. Now, in this one, we are simply calculating the cost of a prompt instead of completion. So let me also show you that. Token price 3. And there you go. This is the cost of it, uh, which is basically again USD per TPU token uh, price unit. And again, I'm using GPT 3.5 turbo. And instead of completion, uh, completion, all I'm doing it, I'm just using this prompt and printing out. Now in this one, as you can see here, we are simply counting the number of tokens in the prompt and in the string prompt that how many message tokens are there or how many string tokens are there. Message simply means that it is a prompt template with roles defined like role user and then or maybe it could be role system and then we are calculating it but it is mainly on the client side of the things let me clear it now let's run it by token price 4 there you go so it has correctly identified 9 and 2 tokens and in the 
final example let me show you how you can use it with openai's client so all i'm doing it i'm i already have installed this openai which is simply if you don't have it pip install openai i'm using openai's client here gpt 3.5 turbo model you can go with chat gpt 4.1 preview if you like and then from here i'm just uh, creating this chat completion passing it another prompt calculating the prompt cost so this is for the chat one so let us me run it and there you go this is the cost per usd dollar for this prompt so for example if you have built an ai application with openai or any other model and you want to calculate the cost uh, before you ship it to the user so that you could price it accordingly you can yes, use this tool to get an idea of what is the appropriate cost of your application and now let's do a comparison of the cost of both gpt 3.5 and 4 so in this example you can see i am just importing some of the libraries as we will be needing it i am defining a prompt string here you can use your own and then this is the response first i am defining the model as gpt 3.5 turbo and then i am calculating the prompt cost of my prompt string from here and also the model and then i am printing it out similarly then i am changing the model to gpt 4 and then sending the prompt cost for both string and model and let's see what it gives us so it is token price 3.py let's run it so there you go the gpt 3.5 cost is three dollars something whereas gpt 4 cost is less two dollars something and as we know gpt 4 is more powerful anyway uh, for this prompt and then if you would change this prompt for example i am saying it uh, y line is king of the jungle let's save it run it again and there you go so the cost has changed and again gpt 3.5 cost is higher than gpt 4 cost so if you are using um trying to figure out which model is cheaper for your use case you can easily tell from this tool so really impressed by this tool i guess this, there are a lot of um, use cases for it and at least for the starters you can get get a, a rough idea of what exactly the price would be so hats off to both of these creators trisha pen and alex Ryman. really good tool if you uh, have if you're stuck anywhere or if you have any questions let me know and i'll be happy to answer them and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.